Now this problem is related to energy conservation. Let us try this problem. So we have been given an inclined plane and inclination angle is given that is theta now a sphere is here question says it starts rolling that is motion is a case of pure rolling This means if angular velocity is omega and linear velocity is v or is the radius of a sphere omega is the angular velocity v is the linear velocity of center of mass So in case of pure rolling we will have V is equals to R omega. So this is condition for pure rolling. Now we have to find the speed of this sphere when it covers a distance L along the incline. So let us say this distance is given. this distance is L. Now let us say initially omega is 0 and V is also 0 because it says it starts rolling. So at t is equals to 0 this just starts the motion and then it gets pure, gains pure rolling. In this process friction will do no any work because point of contact will have zero velocity So we can apply energy conservation. So when this sphere finally reaches at this point initially it was just this level there is a loss of potential energy. So we can equate loss of potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy. Now situation is something like this initial center of mass is here final center of mass is here and this distance is given this distance is L so we can calculate this distance this angle is theta so let us say this distance is x so we can say sine theta is equals to x by L so x is equals to L sine theta so loss in potential energy is mgh height is x and x is L sin theta. Gain in kinetic energy that is translational kinetic energy is half mv square 
and rotational kinetic energy is half i omega square. For a sphere we will have i that is 2 by 5 mr square. We can put v is equals to r omega. So this is 1 by 5, r omega is v, we can cancel mass, So 10 by 7 gl sin theta is equals to v square. So v is under root 10 by 7 gl sin theta. So this one is a easy problem. Only thing is we have to see loss in potential energy. Initially this center of mass is here and finally this is here. So center of mass has traveled a distance l. So distance along the incline is L. So we can calculate height by which the center of mass has fallen that is x and x is equals to L sin theta. And then we can apply energy conservation that is loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy. From there we can calculate velocity when it has traveled a distance L along the incline. 